We have a very special show. We're going to be talking about the Paddle Tech Tempest Wave. One of the most highly regarded paddles out there. You see this all over the place. You see it on the podiums. You see it on the courts. You see the best pros using it. We're going to tell you why it's such a good paddle. But not only that, tonight we have Stephanie Lane going to join us and also Dave the Badger Weinbach. Both Paddle Tech users, both use the Tempest Wave. They're going to share all their knowledge with you about this paddle. And we're going to bring them on just in a minute. But first we have to do our little musical intro. And um, since Stephanie's from uh, Nashville, I thought I would try to do something appropriate, maybe um, a little countryish. This is about as, as countryish as I can get. So hopefully Stephanie's out there. Hopefully she likes this. Here we go. Nashville. I think that was done originally by a band from Nashville before Darius Rucker decided to cover it and turn it into his big gigantic hit. But um, I think it was uh, The Medicine Show, something like that. Maybe Stephanie knows. Um, yeah, let's bring them on without further ado. There's Stephanie. There they are. Hey guys. How you doing? Good, good. How are you, Stephanie? How are you, Dave? That was awesome, Jack. Thank you, buddy. We were, we were, was we that, had it was going. That good? You had the wagon wheel going like this. While <laughs> oh man, I, I, should, I should have brought you on before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just got off the court after playing, what did we do, four and a half hours today? Something like that. We're having a little uh, pickleball boot camp here. And surprise, Arizona, one of the pickleball hotbeds of the country. Right, Steph? That's right. That's right, Dave. And that's where you actually um, first learned, uh, discovered pickleball. It right? is where I learned this game. My parents moved from Wisconsin to Sun City Grand in Surprise, Arizona, 12 years ago. And it was probably nine years ago that we were visiting myself and my wife and three boys. And I was playing tennis with my dad, and I said, what in the world is that game over there? There were like 80 people on 20 different courts, loving it, making all these crazy noises. And I went over there and watched for a little bit. And then uh, a couple of guys came out and put a paddle in my face and said, hey, kid, get out here. We need a body. And I said, I can't even spell pickleball. You don't want me. And they threw a paddle in my face, put me on the kitchen line and said, this is the kitchen. This is a dink and let's go. Let's do it. And 10 minutes later, I was hooked. Nice, nice. So let, let me give you guys a proper inter introduction because you, you so deserve it. On the right, we have, in, in the right corner, we have <laughs> Dave the Badger Weinbach, gold medal winner in men's 5-0 doubles at nationals, gold medal winner <laughs> in mixed with his partner, Stephanie Lane, gold medal in men's doubles at the U.S. Open. <laughs> Thank and you. in the left corner, we have Stephanie Lane from Nashville, Tennessee. Gold winner with Dave in Nationals and 5-0 mixed. Silver medal at 45-plus women's doubles at the U.S. Open. 
bronze medal in mix <laughs> at the U.S. Open at the 45 plus age. Hey, those all those medals are good. And um, yeah, welcome. We're so glad. We're so happy to have you on the show tonight. Help to talk about what makes this Tempest Wave such a great paddle. How, how, you know, um, share your knowledge. You guys are both. Uh, on Team Paddle Tech, and you, and you both, uh, I mean, who better to, to talk to the public about this paddle? Well, Jack, so, when, um, when you asked me, Jack, I, I was happy to do it, but I knew we had to have this guy. This is the guy that's made this Tempest so famous. That's right. He is the face of the Tempest, and what a face it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to fit this nose I mean that, I mean in that, this picture, but we're trying I mean to do it. In the, in the nicest way, it kind of covers the whole screen, but we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just quickly just get the uh, get the specs out of the way, then we'll get to the good stuff. Yeah. Um, the Tempest is uh, seven point five to seven point seven ounces, so it's it's a little lighter than most. Um, it gives it that nice quickness that I know Dave loves. Uh, the grip is four point two five around, just your your uh, your standard grip size. Uh, the grip length is five point two five. Uh, nice, nice size grip, just about average. Uh, the length is 15 and 7 eighths from top to bottom. The width is 8 inches wide. Uh, the face is graphite, which gives it the really nice soft feel. It's got the polymer honeycomb core. So it's basically your, your, your standard shape paddle. Um, you know, uh, standard width, standard length, um, standard core. But... Dave, um, now that we got that out of the way, let me just go back. I know you started, um, I think you used the uh, Element at first. I started with the Paddle Tech Element Paddle. That's correct. Right. And then um, what prompted the switch to the Tempest? When Paddle Tech developed the Tempest, they really developed it for the doubles player that really focused their game on control and feel and to me the tempest and the tempest wave both play very similar and when you compare them to the element they have in my opinion the same amount of power and pop but a lot more feel and sensitivity on the face of the paddle and a lot of that is due to the graphite face jack yeah um i, I played with this paddle for a good amount of time and it was actually my my paddle for a while um and the thing that I feel that the minute you hit with this, you notice that really soft feeling. It's almost like the ball gets cushioned what, on the paddle face. That's a good point. And when I do, when Steph and I do clinics together or I do clinics, you know, all over the country, if I see people that I thought, you know, has an inferior paddle that really is, is hurting their game, I let them try a couple of different paddles, you know. Right. And if one of the paddles they try is the Tempest, the first thing they say to me is, Dave, it feels like the ball is on the paddle slightly longer. And I said, absolutely. And that's what gives you the superior feel and control when you have that added sensitivity and that feel at impact with the ball. Exactly. And Stephanie, you, um, I think you used to use the uh, Paltech Phoenix Pro. I did, Jack. When I, when I transferred <laughs> to tennis, um, I was adding lead tape to my pickleball paddle to make it feel like a tennis racket because Dave, I was so far ahead of the ball and I was swinging and missing and stuff. And I said, this thing's got to be heavier. So long story short, I started with the Phoenix Pro, weighted it down and I've just gotten lighter and lighter and lighter. And now I just want fast hands. So a lighter paddle works for me. But yeah, the Phoenix was a little heavy, but I was a singles player then. And now I'm a doubles player. Yeah, that, that Phoenix Pro is, is quite a heavy paddle. Um, so you also, you kind of, uh, what prompted the switch for you to the, uh, the Tempest? Just wanting something lighter and more control? Lighter. And, you know, once I felt about dinky, how it does not make dinks pop up, Dave, it just, you know, it just absorbs a lot of the, a lot of the pace. That's what I needed against these top players that were hitting bullets. I had a, I had a bullseye right here. And so I would get hit balls and I was just trying to block these. And this is the paddle right here that, that it really helped me learn how to block those drives and put those back in the kitchen so they're unattackable. Right, right. Nothing frustrates uh, somebody trying to drive the ball from the back of the court more than just, you know, softly feathering it down right in front of the net. 
and then they, you know they, they're trying to change gears and get up there to get it and it's too late and um you know dave i know your your game really centers around um you know, quickness. When I think of Dave Weinbach, I think of quickness at the net, just crazy speed, you know, the way you hit the ball, you spin around, you're back in position, you know, it, it's, it's, your reflexes are just off, off the, uh, off the chain, as the kids say. But um, how does the, uh, the Tempest, you know, accentuate these parts of your game? Well, first of all, when I talk to my students at my clinics or friends or folks that I'm giving in private lessons, the first thing I talk about is weight. I see too many people, Jack, across this country using a paddle that is way too heavy step. Yeah. And the heavier your paddle is, the less maneuverability you have, the less feel. And I see a lot of, especially older women, having paddles that are 7.8, 8 ounces, more than 8 ounces. And I try to explain to them why I think it's better for them to have a paddle that's seven point two to 7.5 ounces. And that's the first thing that, you know, you notice about the Tempest is it's, it's lighter weight. It's easier to go, let's say from forehand to a backhand real quick. It's easier to put to maneuver. The pro poly core combined with the graphite face gives me what I call a lot of sensitivity on the face of the paddle. And that's what leads to superior control. And in our clinics, we talk a lot about when you hit third shot drops and dinks, what's the most important thing, Steph, that those balls are? Unattackable. Unattackable. <laughs> I feel that when you have a paddle with superior feel and control, where the ball stays on the face of that paddle for an extra eighth of a second, it allows you to control the ball more and really keep those dinks and those third shot drops in the kitchen and unattackable baby <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean do you think that's the, the main reason why so many pros uh have such success with it because you know the game is won at the kitchen and this paddle sets you up you know to just to to, to live your you know to, to stay in there to dink to dink to dink to have great soft touch and um I don't think there's really another paddle out there that well, that has the it, soft touch that the Tempest does. I'll, I'll tell you, Jack, we're fortunate in pickleball right now to have so many great manufacturers of pickleball paddles. Yeah, I right. really think that this game is gonna is growing so fast and so quickly that the demand is gonna be there that all of these great manufacturers, the Selkirks, the Pro Lights, uh, Engage, uh, Steph, help me out. Who am I missing? <laughs> uh, Franklin's getting into this. Head is getting into it. Wilson. Right. I think there's all Maybe of these. Onyx. Yeah, Onyx. All of these are excellent companies that are making very good products. And I think the game is going to grow so fast that the man is going to be there. All these companies can be successful. So it's not just about this particular paddle. I know this show is, Jack, about this paddle. But I just want to say that we're lucky in this sport help, helping this grow. We have so many great manufacturers that are putting lots of resources into R&D stuff, yeah. research and development. And I'll say something about the ball while we're at it, too. Okay. Because I've said this on a lot of my live feeds and my interviews. I think the technology of the ball over the next five years is going to far exceed the development and the technology in the paddle. So we're going to look back even in a year or two and look back on the fat, on the balls that we use now, the Dura yeah. and the Onyx Pier 2 and the, and the current Franklin ball and say, how in the world did we even use that thing <laughs> two years ago? Okay. But Jack, Dave, so yeah, are you a lot of the pros are attracted to the Tempest for three main reasons. Number one is the superior feel and control because the ball stays on the face of the paddle, in my opinion, an eighth of a second longer. Okay. Number two is it still has plenty of power and plenty of pop to put the ball away and get the ball down yeah. when you get that attackable ball. ball. Yeah. Okay. And then the third thing, as I mentioned earlier, is they can make the Tempest in a lighter weight. And I think a lighter paddle gives you a lot of flexibility 
to maneuver from backhand to forehand or to get that punch volley, to get the paddle moving in the direction that you want quicker. It's unbelievable when you go do like an eight ounce paddle versus seven and a half, how much slower your maneuverability is. What do you think, Steph, is the some of the prime reasons that you and other pros that you've talked to have gone to Paddle Tech's Tempest and Tempest Wave? I, I just can't even think about any other reasons than what you said. I've got the touch that I need to absorb the pace. I've got the, a little bit of pop that I need. And you guys don't need any extra pop. Us, <laughs> us girls need a little bit of extra muscle sometimes, or I do, I'll speak for myself, <laughs> to be able to put that ball away. Um, but yeah, it's just a great combination. I've tried several different paddles and I keep coming back to this one and um, just can't think of another better combination, Dave. I think that's the, that's the key word that we've talked about tonight is I think for me in my game, this paddle has the perfect combination of control, power, and also spin. What spin? I didn't see any spin. <laughs> I think it was that, the wind that that's up. another the wind thing. Picked up. That's another thing is you know a lot of people talk about the softness of the uh, of the tempest, but it also has incredible spin. And um, I have a bunch of friends that play with this paddle, and they say uh, they get top spin with this thing like like no other paddle um, can do. So that's that's a nice uh, so side benefit. It grips the ball well <laughs> for sure, Jack. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you guys look awfully happy over there. <laughs> we get just getting all happy for the holidays. <laughs> happy for the holidays. That's good to hear. One thing you'll notice uh, with Steph and I, whether it's on the court or off the court, we have a lot of fun with pickleball people. And we've been in Phoenix here in Surprise for, what, three or four days, just yeah. hamming it up, having a great time. I tell people, if you can't have fun playing pickleball, you got a problem. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of people out there having having just as much fun as you guys are. Let me ask you. Um, obviously, this paddle works for a lot of uh, you know the pros, a lot of the, the high level players. Um, uh, what what kind of player, like rec player, do you think would benefit from the tempest? Hit it, Dave. How would the average you know three zero player benefit from the tempest? The, and, and is this a paddle for them? That, that's the beauty of this paddle, and, and I'm saying this just because I use it. It's really for anybody because, A, it has superior feel and control. And pickleball, especially the doubles game step, yeah. the emphasis should be on consistency and ball control, not about hitting the ball as hard as you can. It should be about consistency, hitting unattackable dinks. And not making unforced errors. And not making unforced errors. So this is a paddle that was really made. Paddle Tech really had the masses in mind when they developed the Tempest. It's not just for the pro or the 5-0 player right. or the 4-5 player. That's a good point. A lot of, a lot of our clinics, uh, we see a ton of people at our beginner clinics even using uh, this particular paddle because of the superior feel and control. And as Steph said, the combination of the feel and the touch shots and the power. Yeah, definitely. Let me ask you um, a kind of a, there's the badger. By the way, did everybody see my shirt? Oh, the I wore this badger. just for Dave. Just for Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Stephanie, I don't, I, we need to come up with something for you. Oh, that's okay. That's right. Dave's the badger, right? Nashville. You know, you got that it, works. what are you? You're just, you're just Stephanie, which is- uh, No worries. Plenty. We call her, we call her the Nashville Queen. Oh, nice! The Nashville Queen. All right. Um, let me let me ask you a kind of a, a strange question, or maybe a, if there do you think there's anything lacking in the Tempest? Let's say Paddle Tech came to you uh, this week and they said, Dave, we want to do the Tempest 2.0 or 3.0, or whatever we're on now. What do you think we should add to it, if anything? You know, I've actually had this conversation with the uh, owners of Paddle Tech. When you purchase the Tempest, the traditional grip that it comes with is a, a, a more square, larger, rectangular, rectangular. grip. Yeah. Uh, I actually yeah. Uh, yeah. have, I actually have 
my paddle's made with a smaller round grip or a smaller flat grip because I like to be able to have my hand more around the grip and that gives me more feel, more control. And if I'm gonna change my grip a little bit, depending on what kind of spin I'm gonna put on the ball, it's easier with a smaller grip. So one of the things I think you're gonna see happen is a lot of the paddle tech paddles, not just the Tempest, but they're gonna be available with different size grips. What do you think, Steph, in terms of Jack's question? What would you like to see if any changes to the existing Tempest or the Tempest Wave? Maybe more colors. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and now it's just got the perfect combination. Because there's paddles, Jack, that you've got the power with them. And you've got the feather light ones that don't have any pop at all. And they're all feel, feel, feel. And you can't get the ball past the midcourt. But to me, this is, this is what keeps me bringing back to this one because it's got both. I don't have to give up touch for the power. I don't have to give up the power for the feel. It's all in one paddle, honestly. So, yeah. you know, purple would be great. I'll talk to Curtis Smith about making me a purple one someday. You know, I, I, I asked my wife the same question as, you know, what, if she can get Jack 2.0, what would she change? And she said the same thing as you said. She said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... But yeah, Dave, what, what, what do you think is the, the most important attributes that, you, that people should look for from their paddle? Uh, obviously, it's, you're saying touch. Um, is that number one on your list? You know, number one on my list, and I think for most of the pros, is the feel and the sensitivity on the face of the paddle. Because at the pro level and the 5.0 level, the emphasis is not – on power and trying to drive it through people. The emphasis is on the field shots, dinking, the third shot drop, the controlling the ball. And as I, as I teach, you know, folks, a phrase I use a lot of my teaching is the place, the place you hit the ball, location of your shot is more important than power. Yeah. So to me, the emphasis should be on feel, control, superior sensitivity on the face of the paddle. Now, um, because the, the Tempest, you know, is, has such great sensitivity, do you find that you can still measure, you know, if you want to hit that back line or close to it, you can still measure where the, how, how hard you need to swing, where it's going to go? Because some paddles, I noticed they, Sometimes the ball flies a little bit, you know, you hit it yeah. and it's like, whoa, where, where'd that come from? Yeah. Uh, do you ever notice that with the Tempest or is it, is it very predictable? It's very predictable. Yeah. Sorry. It's very predictable. And uh, we were just playing some tonight where I was really trying to keep the ball within, you know, probably the back fifth of the court. Uh, Cause I was playing some really, you know, great guy players. And so I was just trying to keep them back and, I was thinking the same thing, Jack. It's, it's so nice to be able to predict exactly how close to that line you can aim that ball by keeping them back, Dave. I personally have tried probably 40 different paddles in the last three years. And for me personally, the way I play and maybe the way I grip the paddle with a lighter grip pressure, the Tempest and the Tempest Wave for, for my game give me the most control over the ball. By the way, let's give a little shout out to Joshua Cook for coming up with that beautiful design there. Nice job, Josh. From from Chad. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for Josh right? to. Uh, to <laughs> looks good. Looks menacing. Menacing. Got the matching shirt here. Even got it on the shirt. So it looks looks good. Oh, nice, nice. And and Paddle Tech was nice enough, Dave, to work with you on that, right? Big shout out to Paddle Tech for doing Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Terrific supporters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I think um, I, you guys, uh, you want to see if anybody has an interesting question out there for you? Sure. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. People, um, now's the time if you want to ask some questions. Hi, Melody. I saw somebody ask hey, before Greg. about um, does this paddle help you with, with your lobs? Now, 
I know typically a lob is not a shot a lot of pros hit, although to lob from the kitchen can be a very offensive shot. Let's, let's ask the lob queen of America. <laughs> Does the does the te oh. tempest allow you to? I thought she the was the Nashville well queen. Lob? Honestly, I can't imagine doing it with a paddle that has no feel and all power, because then I'm just gonna sail them out. So um, I'm just gonna scroll up here. Yeah, for sure. It's you've got to be able to feel the ball to know whether to make it deeper, higher. When you're trying to go over backhands of different players, if you don't have the feel, Jack, the lob just is not gonna be. Uh, it's not going to be effective. So definitely uh, loving my Tempest for that. And, and I, here in Surprise, it's so much fun to, to see a big, tall, you know, big Chris seeking knowledge kind of guy out there that we all remember. And when I see a seven-foot guy, I think, oh, goody, let me see if I can lob this guy. And uh, I couldn't. So that, doesn't, that doesn't deter you at all. That just gives you more. Uh, more of a challenge. That just encourages you more. Yeah. Lobbing Pat Kane was my number one goal when I got here. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I think um I think the the offensive lob from the kitchen is a is a pretty un, underutilized shot. And um Not by if me. you have the nice touch and feel like both of you guys have, you could throw that over the off shoulder. It, it's almost, you know, what the best they're gonna do with it is I got a visitor here. One of our cats. Um, the best somebody could do with that kind of shot is just, um, you know, basically get it back into the kitchen and try to scurry back to the line. But yeah. they're lucky if that's the best they can do with it. Jack, any questions out there for uh, the Nashville Queen or the Badgers? Yeah, I'm looking. Um, what, what is Brad Tursky saying? Because he just switched over to the, to the uh, Tempest there. What is he saying? Dave, uh, Brad Tursky says, Dave forced me to try the forced. Badger paddle. Instead of the gearbox I was using, and my game jumped up a level immediately. Oh, uh, that's nice of you to share, Brad. You know, you know my view on paddles. Immediately, is, I, I want to put a paddle in someone's hand after I read someone's game. I want to put a paddle in their hand that I think gives them the best chance to win, and that's what it's all about. And you saw his skills and his talent. Yes. And you said there's no way that you're gonna get the best performance out of this of your paddle. At least try the Tempest. At least try it. And he absolutely fell in love. Came back to Jackson, Tennessee, two hours from me, and said, well, you didn't do it, but the Badger did it. And I said, well, as long as somebody did it, because I knew you needed that paddle. You know, I let people try my paddle, or any Tempest or Tempest Wave. And honestly, it sells itself. I don't need to give a big sales job on it. People hit five dinks with it, a couple of third shot drops, and they all say to me, wow, it feels like the ball is on the face of the paddle longer. I have more feel, more control. There's more sensitivity. It sells itself. Thank you, Paddle Tech and Curtis and Cody for generating this paddle. It's won a lot of tournaments for me, a lot of championships. And uh, it, for me, it gives me the best chance to win. So thanks. Thank you, Paddle Tech. That's, yeah. that's a great endorsement right there and that, that that wraps it all up let's see we got maybe one more question what we here time for one or two questions um, we gotta wrap it up yep yeah one more uh, what's, the so. what's the most important what's the most difficult most difficult but yet most important shot of the game what is the most difficult but most important shot of the game you go first because i know what you're gonna say I, I know what he's gonna say before he says i it. see a question by Lee Ellen Lane. i'm not sure where she is right now but Lee Ellen, it's nice to have you with us we gotta we gotta wrap it up i'm sorry guys let me just say um, thank you, a big, big thank you to Dave Weinbach and Stephanie Lane. Uh, this was great. There was so much knowledge passed through the internet airwaves in such a short amount of time. I'm sure everybody really enjoyed it. Uh, I can't think of a, a better infomercial, as you, as you will, for this paddle. Um, everybody go out and try the Paddle Tech Tempest Wave. Go out there, watch these two guys play. If you want to see what they're talking about, you want to see that that control <laughs> in the kitchen, that sensitivity, that unreturnable. What's that word? Un unattackable. Unattackable ball. You want to hit unattackable balls? Unforgettable. This is the one to do it with. Thanks, Dad. Thanks again, Stephanie. Thanks again, Dave. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please um, <laughs> check out my website, uh, 
uh, www.pickleballpaddlereviews.net. I have all my previous reviews on there. Um, you know, try this paddle out. Try a lot of paddles out. Uh, maybe this will be the one. Maybe you'll get to the podium as many times as, as Dave and Stephanie. Well, thanks for having us, Jack. Um, it was a pleasure. And, you know, we love talking about our paddle. We, lo we enjoy sharing the pickleball love. Yes, we do. And that's that's easily seen and thank you you guys were great uh we'll see everybody on the next power review and um happy holidays thanks dave and steph merry christmas thank you happy new year merry, ha merry christmas happy holidays you guys all right thank we'll you see you soon bye, take steph. care bye-bye